I'm getting older, which means my parents are obviously getting older. They've retired now. And um, if you don't have retired parents, basically what that means is, is that now I call them up on the phone and they've been answering the phone as a team. <laughs> I don't know why that started, but they're just like, the phone's ringing? Well, we better both hop on this. Who knows who's calling? What? Just hello, hello, you're on speaker. Why? Why am I on speaker? Every time I call them, I'm on speaker. I'm like, Dad, why am I on speaker? He's like, anything you can say to me, you can say in front of your mother. Is she your attorney? Why is counsel present? What's happening? My dad's getting a little paranoid. He's always had a gun to protect the house, which is a fine reason. He wants to protect the house from home invaders. But now it's starting to feel like he really is rooting for a home invader. <laughs> Like, it's never been this bad. But one time in high school, I uh, ordered a pizza, and I didn't tell my dad that I had ordered the pizza, and my dad answered the door with the gun. So, free pizza. Uh, that's a true story. That's a true story of a teenager that just said, I don't need this job. All right. Cool, man. I got a math test or something. I don't know. It's not even a large, dude. Just take it. But he does have a gun to protect the house, and uh, it's, it's, a little, it's a little uncomfortable because last time I was visiting him, my wife and I were visiting, and uh, we were going out, uh, and my dad's like, you're going out this late? I'm like, it's 8 p.m. He goes, you're going out this late. Listen, if you're going to go out this late, just make sure to text before you come back in the house because, you know, I got the gun. Yeah, or just remember what your son looks like. It's great to know that I'm just one missed text away from being shot by my own father. <laughs> what happened to Ryan? Oh, you know, he was living dangerously. <laughs> Got home at 9.45 p.m., shot dead by his own dad. <laughs> you think I'm breaking in? What thief uses the garage code? <laughs> Nobody breaking in greets the cat. Like, <laughs> what are we doing here? Like, I thought you were someone else. I have your face. Just don't shoot your own face. Actually, I'm Simon. The <laughs> He's just getting weird. He when I was there, he pulled me aside. He goes, I need to ask you something. Uh, listen, I, I, I want to be buried in the backyard. <laughs> like now or what exactly? But that's what he wants. He wants to be buried in the backyard. His exact words were, I want to be buried in the backyard. That's illegal. Don't tell your mother. <laughs> Got it. So the game plan is you die, we hide your body, and then lie to your wife of 38 years until she's dead. Is that the plan? Is that the plan? That's good. You did not think this through in any way. Like, what happens if we have to sell the house? How about that? Just someone's checking it out. Like, hey, what's up with that really bright patch of grass in the backyard? <laughs> oh, we say that before. Be what makes other people happy. Just a really good three foot by six foot plot of soil. That's all that is. <laughs> Don't worry why that tree grows so well. It's just good soil in that rectangle. Also, you can never have a pool. I want to be buried in the backyard. That's illegal. Don't tell your mother. And I was like, are you, you really want to be buried in the backyard? He goes, yeah, I just want to make it easy on you kids. <laughs> yep, nothing easier than digging my own father's grave <laughs> and then lying to my mother for the rest of her life. <laughs> I'm covered in dirt. I'm crying. My mom's like, have you seen your father? Ah... Uh... No, but maybe just water the lawn or something. I don't know. That'll cheer you up.